In, in today's video, we're installing a reverse osmosis system from Kinetico, and we're also testing water, not just from my tap, but from bottled water. We're gonna find out, is it really safe? And what's the best way to clean it up? It's designed to be a, an extra step of protection for your drinking water, okay? Now, I know in the world of water today, we've got a lot of different qualities out there. We got city services and we got rural services, you know, on a well. I'm on a well and there are a lot of different kinds of quality of water out there. So I got a company called Out of the World Plumbing here today. They're gonna to install the system and we're gonna test the water, talk about technology, talk about all the impurities that are in water. You know, there's a huge concern in the market. Uh, if you live in an industrialized city that's over hundred years old, the water supply system is getting old too. And a lot of these systems are, are starting to leak and leach. You've all remembered what happened over in Flint, Michigan. That is not to say it'll never happen again. There are problems popping up all over the country. City water supplies aren't what they used to be. We're needing more and more chemicals to dump into there to try to make it healthy. But you as a consumer in your own home can protect your family by installing a reverse osmosis system. It gives you the best protection at the source of your drinking water. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna install the system. We got a guy coming out here from a granite company who's gonna cut the hole in the quartz for the special faucet. And then we're gonna to talk to the installer who knows everything there is to know about this sort of stuff. We're gonna test some bottled water right here on camera to show you even how bad bottled water is so you can get an idea that we're not just trying to make our water quality acceptable here, we're gonna make the best quality water available in the market coming out of my well in my own farmhouse. And I am so pumped to do this. Right, so what we got here guys is a reverse osmosis system and I'm not going to explain it to you because I don't have a clue how all that works but we do have Trevor here today from out of this world plumbing who's going to help us before we get to that though this is the system they just installed this cute little drinking faucet everybody's seen these right this is the thing right here this is the whole unit and this goes underneath your sink like it's not intrusive at all you still got room to put your cleaners and stuff Kinetico is the company. Now they're all over North America, okay? And at the end of the video, we're gonna give you information so that you can get yourself a free water sample done by these pros. First of all, Trevor, thanks for coming. Good to be thanks here, Thanks for Jeff. agreeing to be on the video. I know times are strange, and I appreciate you being able to, you know, feel comfortable standing this close to me. <laughs> um, let me just open this up. He showed me how this works. It's a magnetic door. Exactly. That's brilliant, first right. of all. And I don't know, I've seen reverse osmosis before. I'll just lay out my experience first. Mm -hmm. uh, I was in somebody's kitchen, they were in the country, they had four canisters, just kind of like attached to the wall and underneath the sink. Right. And I thought, well, that was cool. But I didn't understand how it worked, mm -hmm. but their water was really good. Mm -hmm. So I know reverse osmosis is a process that works, but what I'm gonna do today is pick your brain. You're gonna walk me through First of all, the Kinetico option. This one here you told me is their basic unit? Premium. Premium unit. That's oh, right. I'm getting a premium you unit. You got the Cadillac. All right, so <laughs> I'm getting the Cadillac of water cleaning today. Explain to me what this is and how it works so that everybody at home can also understand reverse osmosis. Happy to do so, Jeff. So uh, you're absolutely right. The reverse osmosis system uses a collection of filters to do the filtration. A lot of people think it's just one filter that's doing the filtration. What is the collection of filters that? Oh, uh, I gotta stop you there. Because sure. when I heard reverse osmosis, the first thing I thought was spinning things backwards. And I got like some kind of anti-gravity yeah. separating yeah. particles. It's nothing like that. It's just a series of filters. It is a series of filters, okay. um, but there's a, the pressure differential does come into play with the semi-permeable membrane. Okay. So that's the main filter right here. Uh, that filter is a filter that you're supposed to replace, let's say every three years on a standard system, the premium system that we have here today. It actually, just to give you guys a sneak peek, this canister here actually stores reverse osmosis water. So while you're using the water, the uh, membrane is basically rinsed as it's being, as the water is being used. Okay. So that actually gives you a life expectancy of around 10 years versus three years. So this unit gives me 10 years before I have to change cartridges? On, on this one membrane, on the, that other, one the membrane. other two, okay. they get changed every 500 gallons. 
Uh, the, the other... Man, that's a lot of clean water. Yeah, it is, it is. If you think about uh, a hot water tank, right? That's 50 gallons, how much water is in that? Yeah. So you have 10 times that amount. So, and is there any way that this system communicates with me to say, hey, time to do something about this? Exactly. So you'll see right here, this is called the purometer. Okay. This is an indicator gauge. So nice. it's a self-metering uh, reverse osmosis system. Other standard systems don't have, uh, have this ability. You just have to guess when you actually have to change the filters. They usually just say one year, but it's, it's a pure guess. Kinetico has taken the guesswork out because they have uh, put these filters through the laboratory. Right. And they have basically found out that at 500 gallons, that's when the, we call TDS creep, the total dissolved solids starts going up in the water. Right. And um, that's when you have to change the filters. Right, so, and that's the parts per million correct. that everybody sees on, on water bottles and all that kind of stuff, right? Exactly. So total dissolved solids, this tells you when to change your filters. Yeah which is awesome because who wants to guess? We're not, exactly. we're not investing in something like this to maybe have clean water next Well, year. that's right, right? <laughs> I was just at a customer's house and uh, his water was worse than his tap water with his reverse osmosis, not this system, but a different system that he didn't even know he had to change the filters. Didn't know he had to change filters. So this right? will actually shut down. As you get lower and lower, the flow starts getting less and less. So then the this will actually communicate for yes. you. Yeah, that's, that's right. Awesome. So there's no guesswork at all. Yeah. Uh, when it's completely exhausted, the water turns off so right. that you're not drinking contaminated water. Because some homes are different than others, right? I mean, in exactly. my house, we had uh, the jug of water and we had a pump and that was great. Yeah. Right. But I know people who drink so much water every day, you'd think they were fish. Yeah. Right. So, I mean, there's no such thing as a rule. Exactly. You can't just, it's not like a battery for a smoke detector, right? You can't just go every six months. So this is awesome. So this is going to protect people from themselves. Yep. Right. Life is busy. Exactly. When the water stops coming out. That's right. It means Yo, get me some filter. That's right, exactly nice. that. Okay. Exactly, so uh, again, going back to the um, multi-stage filtration yep. and how you can customize it. One of the concerns that we get from uh, customers and clients is uh, we are taking all the minerals out of the water. So they, they don't want to drink water that is demineralized. Okay. So you can actually get a cartridge that goes in the K5 system and it remineralizes the water for you. Because minerals can be important. Exactly. Right? There's such a thing as good minerals. Exactly. Not and everything in your water is poison. Well, that's right. So we have to take it all out, but you can add minerals back in if you so choose. Right, because you can't differentiate between minerals in a filter system. Correct. So then you have a reintegration system as well. That's right. Nice. And uh, it also makes a difference in the taste. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's right. Okay. So it, it's, it's a personal preference thing, but we can do So if or. I say down the road, hey, I want to get that mineralization added, that's Do I right. just order a cartridge and stick it in? That's right, exactly. So if you guys want to see how easy this is to take in and out, it's a simple twist off. Just a quarter Pops turn. out, that's right. Back in. Oh, and it's got its own gasket, so it's... That's it. Nice. Simple as that. Okay. We have PEC supply lines. Mm -hmm. How easy is it to put an installation together once the faucet is drilled? Uh, installation is, is fairly fast. We can have uh, installed within about an hour, hour and a half. That is brilliant. Um, and you coordinate to get the guy out here with the granite, right? That's not the customer's responsibility? Correct. Sweet. Exactly. Yeah, when it comes to granite countertops, we don't want to mess with that. These are very expensive countertops. No, because you're like a water purification that's expert. Right. Let the granite expert deal with his thing. Exactly. Yeah. I'm yeah. not a jack of all trades like you. Well, you know, master <laughs> of none, right? Yeah. All right. So let's just talk about the different kinds of water quality problems people have. All right? Because I know that where I am, I have one kind of problem. And you guys do the testing and you sort out individualized service yes. based on what's going on with your water. Whether it's in the country or in the city. I know that uh, all over North America, there are different industrialized cities that are having issues because of outdated water purification system, mm -hmm. outdated water supply lines. Exactly. Right. The water lines in the homes themselves are getting so dated that they're part of the contamination problem. How, how much Variety have you seen in your career? Mm -hmm. Like, is it all over the board in the side of one city? Is, is there such a thing as there's well water and city water? Or is it every house is unique? Uh, so it, it depends. It depends on the area of the city. For the most part, the municipality has its own water supply, at least yeah. in Canada. Right. Um, in some uh, places like uh, Prescott, Ontario, for instance, yes, they have old cast iron water mains. So my okay. friend actually, she had uh, water, uh, iron water coming through her tap, even though when it's at the municipality, that's treated already. So you right. shouldn't have to treat iron at the municipality when it's provided to you from the municipality, I should say. Interesting. So yeah, depending on your city service, yeah. it's going to depend on what kind of water you get. Exactly. It depends on your pipes, uh, if, the, if it's a lead water main, right. uh, things like that.
as a homeowner, if you're concerned about the quality of your water, you have the ability to personalize the filtration system and the quality of water you're going to have at the faucet. Exactly. But that's the ultimate goal. Exactly. That's the amazing thing with Kinetico is uh, with the K5 unit, you can customize uh, each filter to suit so your So you can add as much paranoia in here as necessary. <laughs> Correct. So for, for example, right, in City of Auto Water, we have chloramines there, which is a mixture of ammonia and bleach. Okay. Uh, standard uh, carbon filters like a Brita will not remove the um, ammonia portion of it. So right. we use a chloramine filter and that can be installed uh, in this system here, which is what I personally have at my house. Yeah. And it's fantastic. And that's good for the city water. Correct. Okay. But the point is a company like yours working in conjunction with a manufacturer like Kinetico mm -hmm. is going to be able to provide not just the testing, but the installation and the follow up. This is important because like you were telling me we're going to put the system in today. That's right. You're coming back in a couple of weeks. Yes. And then you're going to test the result of the system once it's been in action for a couple of weeks. That is correct. Which is brutally important. That's right. Well, sometimes water changes. So when I tested it the first time, the yeah. water chemistry could have changed a little bit. Uh, so we want to make sure that we dial it in yep. uh, as best we can. Yeah. Uh, so we can. And you back. test right here on site. That's correct. When you came the first time, you tested right in front of my eyes, and I knew exactly the results of that test in the spot. Exactly. So when you come back and test again, you're able to test not just has the water changed, but is the integrity of what we've delivered here going to give you the result that you're paying for? Correct. Which is key. Now, I know you're going to install this, but before we install this, can we do something fun and just test some water bottle water? Sure. To give people an idea of the process. And then in a couple of weeks, you're going to come back, which in this video is going to be in about 30 seconds. <laughs> and we'll test the water again in its purest form and we'll be able to compare apples and apples. Perfect. Awesome. Let's do it. All right. So we're going to get scientific for the first time ever on this channel. <laughs> And we're going to do a test. Now, Trevor, you told me that this little thing you got here, it's available on Amazon. We'll put a link in the video description. You can grab one if you want it. It's just a few bucks and you can test the total dissolved solids, the TDS, that sounds so technical, of your own water. All right. And then that's not going to tell you how pure or if there's bacteria or virus or all those other stuff in your water, but it is going to tell you, is there crap being introduced to your water after it's purified by the city? or after it's pumped in from your well? Do you have a problem with your lines in your house or your transmission system? I think that is a huge part of this, doesn't it? Uh, Am I close? No, we'll probably cut that out. <laughs> uh, it's, we're not cutting that out. <laughs> Tell me I don't know what I'm talking about and explain to me how this works. Okay, all right. Okay, so perfect, Jeff. So um, what TDS does, it measures the total dissolved solids in the water. So any impurities in the water. It's not saying the water is unsafe to drink. Good. It's just saying that there is a certain level of impurities. Right. Uh, I believe Health Canada, I have to double check, but it's around 400 uh, TDS is what they recommend you uh, consume or under that rather. Right. Uh, nothing over 400 roughly. Okay. Um, so, so let's find out what, the, what is this water first. Let's get this number. All right. Let's, let's have some fun. We, even even my fire fly isn't on the action today. That's awesome. All right, so what we want to do is we want to rinse the cap out first. Okay, makes sense. And just simply turn the unit on and dip it in. So we are getting 730 TDS. Okay, let's... okay so yeah, it's, okay. it is definitely high. In this area, that is to be expected. 730 is high. Yes. What is it on the water bottle? Well, let's see. Because it has a claim on the bottle, right? That's right, yeah. So this... 552 parts per million, I believe. Okay. So we can see that mineral salt, 552 parts per million. So, right, but they're testing that before they bottle it. So let's they? see. <laughs> Maybe, <knows? laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> All right, so let's just kind of compare what bottled water uh, is giving us here. And in. So we can see we're around seven, I believe. Can you see that, Jeff? It's 760 is what it's telling me. Yeah, so that's, that's... It's higher than what it's claiming. Yeah. yeah that's is that going to be just residue from our test we just well, did? Well, you know, let's do another one, Jeff, just to make sure. Now here, let's, let's rinse this too, because I know <laughs> our viewers at home are going to be like, oh, in the comments, yeah. oh, you never washed the tool. That's what's going on. And this was a sealed bottle too. And, and maybe that has something to do with it. So let's re remove all doubts. All right, all right, let's try it again. Okay, water's in there. We turn it on. I want to buy one of these gizmos just so I can test everything that's labeled nowadays. It, it, yeah, it is pretty fun. Yeah, we're Dude, no, it's well. coming right back the same, 750. So I would say that's pretty accurate. So 
Oh. The, the water in that bottle isn't any better as far as solid as the crap coming out of my well. Correct. Now, again, it's not to say <laughs> there's bacteria or anything like that in it. It's purely no, it's the just solids. dissolved mineral contents, yep. uh, salt, whatnot. Which could be a variety of different things. And you've yes. got tests when you come on site to determine what those solids are. Correct. And what treatments you're going to need for it. You got it. That's cool. Exactly. But the point is... So the point... The to government getting... has a regulation. Yep. Industry standard is obviously a lot lower. Mm -hmm. It's very similar in construction. Um, trades have standards, mm -hmm. but the building code is so much lower, it's ridiculous. Right. So it seems like everything the government regulates is at, at, at the bottom end of the scale. Exactly. Try to figure that one out. Like, do we even need the regulation? Anyway. Yeah. Um, seriously. Anyway, so so we'll uh, <laughs> we'll we'll test the two together, and we should see uh, a, a huge. Oh, reduction we should see a big difference between this water because that's correct, not osmosis. Correct, just the drinking water. Correct. Water. And cool. like, like I was saying before, if you don't want to guess on when to change your filter in your own reverse osmosis system, pick one of these up. Okay. Because what you can do is uh, after it, as soon as you put the system in, test the water. You'll get a reading. Yep. As soon as you start seeing that number creep up, we call it TDS creeps, the number starts going up, that's when you change the filters. Right, Otherwise, right, right. you're just guessing. They say replace it annually, they're just guessing. So that's the scientific so way. So if you have a reverse osmosis system already, yep. and you're not testing your water, yep. you should pick one of those little gizmos up anyway and find out. I would myself, yeah. Yeah, great. Well, thanks for coming out. I'm gonna let you finish your job. Okay. I appreciate your COVID response. <laughs> no problem, thanks, All right. Jeff. And then, uh, what we'll do is we'll, we'll see you back here in, in about 10 seconds and we'll test the water because it'll be two weeks from now. Perfect. Okay, so fun fact, Connecticut is manufactured in Ohio, not overseas. Just in case you're interested, they do all their own independent laboratory testing right here in North America. No need to be concerned about third parties overseas. That's definitely a cool selling point. And we are back. It's been a couple of weeks. And Dave from Out of This World Plumbing has joined us today. And we had him come back on camera just so that we can show you what it is that the effect of all of this great water purification system is. So Dave, thanks for coming out today. You're welcome. We're going to give this a quick once over. I know that the last couple of weeks we've been running the system and drinking the water. I've had a couple of people by. They're all trying out the water. They're like, this is better than the city. That's, that's, that's the general consensus. They're like well, that's awesome. apprehensive because where they are, right? They yes. get out here like, i got to drink this. and. And then they won't stop and they keep asking for more because it's just that good. It's Which is great cool, water. right? It's I mean, great that's water, that's right. Our yeah, yeah. water is, is awesome water and it helps clean out your system as well. So it <laughs> takes all the impurities out of whatever's in the water supply in the area. So, it seems to have done the job. So I can't uh, wait to see what the test turns out to be. Yep, so we're, we're back today and uh, it's all about seeing how the water settle in, because you've been running for a while. You said you yourself and the guests have been coming over enjoying the water, which is wonderful. Yeah. So that's the taste test, so that's awesome. Right. So now we just want to find out and say, okay, well, what has it done to make differences in the water? Like, right, because the what taste test is just the anecdotal evidence, right? I mean, that's right. we drink it, we're like, yeah, I could live here and drink this and not be a problem. It doesn't smell like my septic tank anymore. <laughs> so that's good. That's ideal. So, <laughs> as, as we did last time, uh, what I'll do is I'll turn the tap on here and we'll just let it run through. And what this does is just takes um, any sort of impurities or, uh, well, not really any impurities, but just the, the flow of the water. Yeah. We want to have, have it run so our source is pure because sometimes you can end up with little bits of, of grit or dust or whatever that get caught on here. So this just kind of flushes sure, through the Sure, anything that sits hose. isn't going to be as clean as something that's moving. That's right. So yeah. we just want to have that run for a few minutes. Uh, one of the parts here is the TDS meter, which we had last time, and this is essentially measuring minerals or, or other um, particles that were in the water, which now won't be. That's right, so let's uh, fill this out. So again, part of this, I don't want to uh, mix up any any water from the pla last place I tested. Right, because it's a real sensitive right. test, apparently. I mean, that. we're talking about parts per million. Parts per million, that's right. Right, and so. Trevor was here last time and he was like expecting that we should get down to something like below 10. Yep. And I'm like, wow, that's aggressive. It was over 700. Like, well, we'll, we'll see where we're at, all right? I mean, yeah. uh, our, uh, what is it? I think our, under Canada's rules here, we, TDS is supposed to be less than 500 for drinkable water supply. Right. So, and bottled water is, sometimes you can find that higher than that, which is yeah, kind of crazy. I, we did that test. So, that was really kind of eye-opening, to be honest with you. So we're going to put this in the pot. And get that done. 
Okay, so we're still green here. We got a reading going on. Uh, we're now at seven <laughs> instead of 700, so. All right, so that's an excellent result there for TDS. Uh, and that comes down pretty much on the filtration level of the RO membrane itself. Yeah. So we have some iron readings we were getting before. Actually, I have pH in here. Actually, I'll do, I'll do the pH on there. And so now we're testing pH level? pH. Okay. And so the, the process of the RO water here is it should drop the pH quite a bit and then it has a post filter on it which sort of essentially brings or neutralizes it and bring it back up. So we should see where we're at on this one too. Uh, that's right, so I gotta do six drops of this. So my swirling here is more just to mix this up. I'll have to do this on every process. Sure. I'm sure. And then I gotta hold it up to the light. And so this is um, more or less a color match to see where we're at. So if you wanna have a look at that. Wow, okay, we gotta get this on camera though. Can I get you to just turn that around to max? Cause you need the light, is that the idea? Can we, we, hold, the light light up, behind. Can we hold Actually, it up in front of that? I don't know. So I know it's not, this doesn't appear like rocket science, but it's actually incredibly accurate. And so the color I'm going for here is, is to be as close a proximity on this disc as it goes. We're actually sitting pretty much right at the seven and a half, which is Oh, I see. So you've neutral. got a disc with two color wheels on it. It takes, both water samples are the same. And when you move the color wheels around, one with the dye, they've calibrated that disc so that when the colors are the same, that's your reading. That's right. Okay, so that that's takes perfect. the guesswork out of it. But yeah. That's really cool. So now that gives us a pH of, what are we at? We are at seven and a half, seven which and a half. is pretty okay. much what our body that needs. That sounds nice <laughs> right on the money. That's right. It's similar to um, the, uh, the pool chemistry side of things. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. so with that, the pH needs to be correct because it needs to be at the right level before you add other things into the pool like chlorine or yeah, exactly. whatever else. And, and essentially our drinking water is the same. So we want to have a good pH coming into us so that right. we, we can then um, internalize the water as it were. All right, so now we're gonna right. do the iron test. So we're gonna do the iron. So this is gonna be very similar to the pH uh, where I'm gonna use a, a disc. It's almost a shame because it's been a couple of weeks and I can't remember what our iron test was. Uh, let's see, I had some notes. I think we were at five parts per million. Oh, you brought seven. that in? Oh, cool. yeah, that's we awesome. Had, <laughs> we had something here. We had, yeah, five parts per million of, of iron. In five the system. parts per million of iron. So we'll get to see. That doesn't sound like a lot, but. No, uh, and yet it doesn't take much to actually start fouling up fixtures and, no and making kidding. them look bad and having that. So which uh, so now you got I, the iron wheel yes. doing the same concept. So I'm just reading what's going on here. For the iron wheels, I actually have two different discs. One okay. is for looking at internal lights or okay. staring not or at the daylight. sun, but outside. That's right. Yeah, uh, so this is more like daylight because we're running 4,000K light here. <laughs> just so you know. <laughs> so... Again, this is gonna work a little similar. So just so uh, that the viewers know, the, the kits here themselves are pretty much universal and they don't actually do anything to the water. They just allow the test to be measured. So yeah, we yeah. have something to kind of go on. It's not like they're changing the composition of the water. It's um, more having something to react with the water. Oh, that's more like a powder. This is a powder, yeah, and it gets okay. mixed in and so, it's, so it's, actually, it's, a, it's cloudy. Yeah, we should just swirl it around. And that's probably more air bubbles and stuff in there now. That actually looks pretty clear. And so, so, we can go around. You can see the different colors on the, the wheel here. But we're going to come around and pretty much we're there. Yeah. Right? So, I'll show you that. And I don't know if you can see the number at the bottom there, but we're right. zero. So, we've taken out all the iron. Zero iron. Wow. Now with the RO systems, there are different cartridges that if you want certain minerals to coming back into your body yeah. that are engineered to be better for the body than say what's coming out of the ground. Well, I think if you want minerals when you're on this kind of water out in the country, you should take a mineral supplement. Yeah. And, and not try to find the way to keep it in your water. <laughs> Just get the water as clean as you can so you can sleep at night. 
And, and as, as crazy as that sounds, it's actually a, a big deal because there are minerals that say we get from vitamin pills and stuff like that mm -hmm. are designed to be absorbed in the body in a better way, whereas a lot that comes out actually from the ground source water is, is not really supposed not to be. Not absorbable. Yeah. Yeah. Or, or not in a way that reacts well or, or mixes in. flying out of here. All right. So we were going to do the hardness. And right. last time we had 24 grains, which is actually pretty high. Yeah. So now it's a hardness test. So it's, it's not just the iron. Now this is the overall hardness of the water. Yeah. Versus the softness. Now what is that exactly? I always get confused. What does that refer to? Hardness? Yeah. So hardness is uh, uh, essentially manganese and uh, calcium in the water. Okay. And one way it's described to us, which is actually, we, we try not to use with a lot of clients, but it's, um, it's been mentioned as it's kind of the rocks in the water. And as, as bizarre as that sounds, it, it's essentially what they do in the water. They, yeah, they, yeah. they oxidize and they become hard. And so the equivalent with the rocks is that when you put your washing on in hard water, you're washing your stuff with rocks, therefore it wears the fabric out quicker and everything else. That so, makes sense. It's um, like having sand in your washing machine. Yeah, and so that's why it's called hard, because it's <laughs> abrasive for us. So it's like, okay, right. what do we... Uh, Which is why my wife hated doing her hair here, because it oh. was just like... Maybe that's why I went bald, Max. I was living here with hard water for a long time and just like sandpapered that sucker right off. <laughs> so now you're taking a vial of that water because you're measuring it for the test. Yes. So this is a specific volume of water. I'm not quite sure what it is. The other ones I'm measuring are, are five That's okay mils. as long as you know how many drips of whatever you got to put in there. That's the key, right? And you can see how tight that is because it doesn't like letting the water out. Okay. So. There you go. And so, so now we're going to test the hardness. So this is the hardness. So what I need to do is add a buffering solution. And this should be a lot better than the original test because on top of the RO system, your crew also put in a brand new water softening system downstairs. But you can tell the softness just by touch. You don't have to be a rocket scientist. You can tell. When I, when I put that water back on, I was like, wow, what a difference. Yes. And if you're used to hard water, initially yeah. when you turn it back on, you'll certainly feel the softness. It made it feel like I might um, be able to clean my house again. Yeah, it, 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 it's, it, what you feel is the natural oils coming out of your skin, so you actually feel silky smooth. It's, oh, really? It, that's yeah. why I feel silky smooth. And okay. that's, that's kind of where I it goes. I thought it was so just me. I have to get three drops of this in. All right. Um, so as for what the science behind this is, I'm not quite sure, but again, this is more just preparing the water sample for the other additives that are coming in next. So I've got my special dye solution here, which, oh, all right. This I need one drop. And, right, so the idea is, is that with this, it's supposed to stay pink okay. in hard water, and then I add to change the color to a, a blue. So the fact that I've just added one drop, and, and I swirled already... this around in blue, pretty much says my, uh, my Grains per gallon of hardness is down at zero. <laughs> so you don't, I, it doesn't I don't even need any need to help add. to do the test. It's so soft. Yeah. And <laughs> again, that's, that's, so that's awesome. great. So the, the wonderful thing about taking all these minerals out and the hardness out yeah. is that it actually makes a great deal of difference for cooking. And that's why a lot of people have these in the kitchen here. One for drinking water because it's yeah, awesome yeah, yeah. tastes great. But actually for putting things like strawberries, that's another great test. You can put strawberries in, soak it in RO water, right. and you'll actually taste a whole lot more from the strawberry just because it, it cleans up. off all the, the chemical sprays and stuff. Yeah, so that's ah, one of the things. So, okay, neat. Um, so that's pretty much what we've got going here. We can test the, uh, the sulfur actually if you like, because we had that last time. That shouldn't really be an issue here because the softener should take care of that anyway, but. Why, why not? You're can, here, let's do it. Like if there's any sulfur left in there, I'd be surprised. That's right, there shouldn't be. We did a, a parts per million test where we got seven, and then the iron is zero. Yeah. There's gotta be some kind of part in there somewhere sooner or later. Any idea yes. what those parts per million would have been? For the sulfur? No, I mean on the, out of the, on the test, out of the seven. Because some, some of the things that we have in the groundwater are like, a little bit goes a long way to really being offensive. But some of that parts per million could be just what else could be in there that doesn't uh, really affect the taste or the smell? It's more just very fine particles that, that would come through. It could also be something from the mineral cartridges in here that are just adding a tiny little bit back. Oh, okay. Right? All right. So uh, that makes uh, sense. 
it, it does a great job, but like I say, when, when we have the post filter in the RO systems, that could be adding something in that then is reading on the, on the TDS. Not, not like much, because we don't want a whole lot, but if we're neutralizing the water essentially to make it more healthy and pure for us, right. then that's it. So with this, we um, this is have the to wait for test just now? a minute. Yeah. So what okay. ha what's happening here, I don't know if uh, Trevor may have explained this last time, but essentially I've, I've added my Aquaseltzer in here. Uh, to basically bubble this. Yeah. And, um, it's creating air bubbles in the water, which is what activates and brings out the sulfur, which is why when you run a tap, you notice the smell because it's mixing with the air. And well, so you have like an aerator on the, on the faucet too, so that does the same thing. Yeah, it, that's right. It, it brings air in, and so you're like, oh, well, now I've got sulfur here. So if you have so. stinky water, take the aerator out of your tap, and it won't be so bad. <laughs> Actually, it wouldn't be so bad. Right? Yeah. It's and like when you nice. take that same water and you put it in a jug, you let it sit in the fridge, and then you pour it. You're not mixing air when you pour, so it's, it smells better. Okay. So with this, this is bubbling and letting the, the sulfur come out. Okay. And once it does that, it's actually acting on this disc, and what we're going to do is compare that to the little color chart here. Oh, because so you've got a disc in the cap yep. to capture all of that release, and then it'll do a color chart to tell you basically this is how much concentration yep. is. That's, that's a so the idea is with this, we just have to leave it for a little bit, but as we're talking, right. we're using up the time here so I think we're pretty much done as you can see most of the bubbles are they're not fizzing out now like yes right yeah, the, yeah the coke bottle uh, so I'm gonna pop that off okay and we have a look and although the the discs themselves are slightly bluish haze well there's uh, no, certainly there's no not, brown in that at all is there nope it's certainly not the brown color so I think we're pretty much at the zero even if you want to be a pessimist and say it's 0.1 it's that's that's nothing that's pretty much nothing. <laughs> now the only crazy thing here is that it really doesn't take very much sulfur to actually have a, an odor. Yeah. Um, and if you're up at like 0.3, which is sort of this color, then that's actually a, enough to be Nasty. generally annoying for most people. So when if you had something that was down here, it's pretty bad. The hot water tends to actually show it up more because it's mixing with air, but it's also heated. So it yes. tends to Multiply come out more in the vapor, which is why a lot of people tend to notice sulfur more in the showers because sure. now you're mixing it with the air and it's warm and so it's all in this yeah. big steamy mist. So that's yeah. pretty much it. So it looks like your water is awesome here. Well, it should be. And that's what you've been saying from your guests <laughs> and yourself yeah. from drinking it. So it's, Well, I'm uh, glad we're able to confirm that. And that's really interesting. So your company, you guys come in here, you do this kind of testing as a free service. Yes. To find out what's going on in your system. That's absolutely then right. Then you tailor make the filtration system to the client. Yes. You don't have just a couple of systems and say, oh, this one would be good for you or this one. It's like real science. You're not yep. messing around. Yeah, we, we actually have, because we've done enough of this in, in Ottawa, we do actually have a little map of the Ottawa area. So you know where which, the problems are of different regions, right? That's right. And the yeah, thing yeah, is yeah, that yeah. that's still only a guideline to the region. It's not yeah. like saying, oh, well, if we happen to come out to Osgood, this is the equipment we need. We still have to test because what happens with the groundwater yeah. is yeah. that I can be literally on one side of the street and the other and have drastically different water. Even right, because you can have a, a ditch system with runoff from different farmer fields and other organizations going on around and everything can be different. That's, that's absolutely right. And, and then you've got Canadian Shield downtown and then you got clay out in the east, you got sand when you get towards the valley. I mean, yeah, that keeps your life interesting. Yeah, so there, there's a lot of changes <laughs> there. And, and to go on top of that, there's also different depths of well. And that can also impact Huge, how much yeah. water you've got or which source it's coming from. Right. So there's a whole lot in the geology. No. You just test the water, we test work it. a solution for the client, get them down to as clean as possible, right? And that's yep. it. Life is that's good. And, and everybody again, loves you because you leave them with this awesome tasting water. We give, we give people the water that they want. Yeah, yeah. Well, there you go. All right, guys. So listen, if you're in the Ottawa area, and you need a pro to help you solve your water problems. And what, this is whether you're on city water or out in the country, or you just have a really old house, right? I mean, you've seen them. Some of those old water supply lines are pretty nasty. You can call Dave at Out of This World Plumbing. We're going to put his information in the video description. All right, so you guys can call these guys. They'll come out and do a test for you, and they'll find the solution for you. They're using Kinetico System, which is all over North America. So if you're not in Ottawa, check the video description. You can go to their website and they will suggest a local dealer for you. And there you go. So you never have to be worried about the quality of your water ever, ever again. You can be in charge of your own water quality, but you got to pay for it. This stuff is, uh, it's amazing, right? It and is, it's, it's it is a amazing. good investment. From my research, if you have high quality water in your house, you've got good filtration system, 
you get a return on that investment almost dollar for dollar. So it is an investment in your home and in your own personal safety. Cheers. Thanks for watching. If you want to see some other videos that we've done talking about latest inventions and awesome ideas, check the link up here, okay? Don't forget to subscribe and like this video, okay? The more people that see this video, more people we can help. We'll see you soon.